the Iron Thread Era. This is the last call of the week. So as usual, we are going to review crude oil here and natural gas. At the end of the video, the support and resistance levels are posted. This video is for information purposes only. Not a recommendation to buy. It's on the stock market ETF. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. All right, here we have crude oil, your daily and your weekly chart. Now, had some pretty good uh, trading here today. Now, when we pump this up here a little bit, okay, I've been pointing out this key, key level here, 73.45. Now, the real-time price right now is 73.76, so you're just above. So, Monday is going to be the key here to see uh, if it can jump above that and just head towards all the way to this 50-day, or we have to see how it's going to go, okay? So, this is the key that we want to watch, okay? So, now... This 73.45 becomes key support level, okay? So again, if that is lost there, then what we do is we look to this 8 SMA right here, okay? So you're sitting at 72.79, and then right below it here, you got 72.12. Very, very nice. Now again, if that 72.12 is lost here next week, then we do is we look to this candle here. You got 71.72 here. We look to the uh, 71.06, that was yesterday's low. Then we come over here, you have 70.06. And then bottom line here is you got that retest of 69.28. Very, very key level there. Okay, so again, if that's lost, then we just come right over here, work it down. 69.11, you have uh, 68.80. On this candle here, you got 68.22. And then your big retest here is 67.71 uh, here. <clears throat> but it doesn't look like anybody wants to go into the uh, uh, weekend here. Uh, short or even kind of a flat situation here because what's going on with the red sea and all that big brouhaha going on there so bottom line here when the futures open on sunday night that's going to be key and then if you trade sunday night or monday here's what we want to do is you want to look at this key level right here 73 uh, 44 here if that's lost here you have 72 78 and then we have your key uh 72 12. very very key support levels here now on the upside what we want to do is we want to look to yesterday's high. That's a 74 flat. And then we come into today's high. You're looking at 74.24 uh, here, okay? So when we look at this candle here at 74.40, this here, see, this is your resistance right here. That's why it stopped right there, okay? So this is your resistant level. Now, if you can get above that, then we come up to this candle right here. You're looking at 74.98 here. And then we look here at this key 50 SMA here. This is at 7556. Right above it is the key price channel at 7618, which is top of this candle right here. If it can go above that, then we look at this 50 SMA here. You're looking at 7759, and then 7781 is your big target. Now, if it can break through this 50 and this 50, and this key uh, 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 200 is going to be critical, critical resistance. So when you look back at the chart here, look at this. How many times did it hit it and just couldn't do it? So your odds of going, unless you have some kind of a catalyst, a blasting right through there and going right on up here is going to be very highly unlikely, okay? So again, if you're on long on a trade here, just watch this key 50 SMA here. Very, very key. Watch this 50 SMA here. Very, very key. And then watch that 200-day. Uh, if you can't get through it, that's the time where you take your position off or you short it all the way on down here to maybe one of these 50 days here as a support then, okay? So bottom line here, when the future's open there Sunday night, is watch that 73.44 here, watch this key 8 SMA here, and then watch that 21 day on the downside. If it rips up here, watch this key level right here, that 74.40 here, and then your 50 day at 75.56, and then this 50 day, 77.59, and there your big boy, 77.81. Now, your RSI looking good. You're at 50, you've got a lot of room to run. This is bullish and this has been bullish here. Your green is over your red, looking really good. Now, your MACD over here is trying to curl up here, but we got to see here. But now you can see here, see where the little uh, the, the red slashes are here? See how it's trying to curl up here? That might just bring it right on up here. The key is going to be here next week is this 8 SMA here. If you can close above this here, then we can shoot right up higher here. That is going to be the absolute key. But today was some really good trading here. Um, I traded the uh, uh, the UCOS a little bit there, 
And then I traded, I even had a little bit of short SEO going there. So far, the, the trading has been, you know, spectacular. Uh, I know a lot of people just say, oh, I'm just going to go long position. But see, I'm a two-way market kind of guy. So either way, it doesn't make a whole lot of difference to, uh, to a guy like me here. Okay, so, all right. So let's take a look here at the old Natty Gas. All right, here we have natural gas, your daily and your weekly chart. Now, natural gas started off and looked like it was going to come all the way on down here. However, I always tell you the same thing I've been preaching here for months is always watch the previous day's high, the low, and the closing number, okay? So what did we have here today? 2.68. What was yesterday's low here, okay? 2.68. Then what was this right here, okay? What was the close on that? 2.68. So what you want to do is see right here where you have the high, the low, and the closing. You always watch that. See this? Support, 2.68. Right here, the bottom, 2.68. Okay, right here today, low, 2.68. Key, key support level right there, right there. And when you go right to the left of your chart here, okay, what you had here, you got basically uh, 2.7 here. But this came over here very, very nicely, okay? So always go to the left of the chart here. Watch the high, the low, the closing number. A lot of people got faked down and said, oh, this is going to go all the way down here, possibly down here. Well, unless it breaks that 2.68 level here, then she is not. And look what that hammer she put in there. Now, she not only rallied back up here above this key 100 SMA here, at 2.83, but now you're above that 50 SMA at 2.85, looking very, very good. Okay, now where is she going to go from there? Well, when the futures open at Sunday night, there you want to look at today's high. So basically, 2.90 uh, uh, here. Okay, so then what we do is we look to the left here. You got 2.92. We look here. What do we have? You got 2.95. And then this is the candle that you want to look at right here. Okay, you're looking at 2.99. Very, very key level. Now, again, if you can get above that here, then what we do is we just follow, like, say, the bottom of this candle. You're looking at 3.02 here, the bottom of this candle here. You're looking at 3.07. And then we come to the top of this candle, 3.11. These are all your resistance levels. This, that's how you trade candlesticks, okay? your highs, your lows, and your closing numbers. So that would be a nice target. And then again, if you can get above that, then we go to this candle right here. You're looking at 3.27. You take this price channel, you go right across. Now, there is a gap. I want to show you this bad boy up here. See this gap right here? Okay, so you're looking at 3.40. And then on the bottom here, you're looking at 3.45. So you got your gap, your fill, always nice targets. Now, always nice targets if this thing is going to run. Now, you look at your RSI, plenty of room to run right here. Your, your green is over your, your red here. Very, very nicely here. So this could have a huge upside here, but always watch them gaps, the fills, and then you can run all the way back and retest that 3.64. Now, I'm not saying that that's what it's going to do. I have not a clue. That's why I trade the charts. Let them tell me. Okay, so that's what you want to look there on the upside. Follow the candles and then look for the gap, the fill, and possible retest. Now, on the downside, well, let's check this downside out. Now, what you want to watch is this key 50 SMA. Okay, so you're looking at uh, 2.85, and then right below that is that uh, 2.835. Very, very crucial. Okay, and then what we do is if that's lost, we come to the top of this candle here. Okay, you're looking at 2.71. And then we have your 2.68. And then we come over here. You have 2.67. And then we have this eight day now, which I've been telling you about. Now it crossed the 21. Now you cross the 200 day. So that's going to give you some really nice support here. That's sitting at 2.63. So when the futures open Sunday night, this eight SMA will be higher. Okay. So that's going to give you some really nice support. Again, if that's lost, then you got 2.54. Now let's just see what the kind of what we have here on the old. Uh, uh, weekly. Okay, so you want to watch this level here. That's at 2.84. That lines up pretty nice here with this 100 SMA here at 2.835. Okay. And then we also have this 8 SMA here at 2.70 here. That's going to be a, a support level. And then you have your 50 day at that 2.62.
which lines up with your 200 day here, okay? So if you just really listen here, you always look at the weekly here for like a bigger kind of a picture. But if you're trading, you want to look at this daily chart here. Now, remember, if you're scalping, you want to use a tick chart, a one, a five minute chart. If you want to make the trade a little bit longer, you can use a 15 and a 30. And it, or if you want to like, say, I'm going to take this trade out a little bit, maybe even a swing trade, use a one hour and a four hour chart, okay? So just quick review here. When the futures open on the downside on Sunday night, Watch this 2.85, watch this 100 day at 2.835, uh, and then what you want to do is, then what we do is we watch this level right here, you're looking at 2.70, and then we could come all the way down here till possibly, you know, this 8 SMA at 2.63 and then 2.62. That is your downside target. Your upside target, you want to watch today's high, 2.89, and then we just curl right up here, okay? 2.92, 2.95, and then this bad boy right here at 2.99. So usually when you hit a round number like a three, okay, what did it hit there? You hit 2.992. So the round numbers is usually, that's usually where you, you hit the resistance and she'll come right on back here, okay? So realistically, very, very, really good trading there today. I scalped the UNG here. Man, it got a really good, I, what did I get out of that? I got 40 cents, but I'm trading uh uh, uh, what am I trading? Oh, I got uh, 15,000 shares in that UNG there. So I'm trading that. I got 40 cents. That was a really good day. And I actually scalped cold uh, this morning here on the way down. I didn't get really a whole lot, but I got two and a half points out of cold. So that worked out uh, pretty good here on this downslide. But I was watching that key 2.68 from yesterday's low here. It held it. And then that tells me then, ooh, once it held, holds it, then you got to go and she'll rally right on up. All right, let's take a look here what it did on an hourly and a four-hour chart. Okay, here's your hourly chart, okay? This was the really nice right here, okay, where you basically, you, you double-topped right here, and then it came down, tried to rally up here, but you can see here, it rallied here, and it just couldn't hold it. Then when it came all the way down, it held that 2.68, which was uh, this candle going on like right here, okay, which was um, uh, basically yesterday's uh, a low. Very, very nice. And then we just, and then it just blasted right on off here. Very, very nice here. Now, here on your four hour chart here, well, you have to look at this. Nice, just beautiful, beautiful trading here. And then it kind of put in some lower highs here, but it never really fell right off here, okay? And it gapped right down. But this rallied up real nice here, but then it got it jammed up here. And that tells me there when you start getting sideways like that and you can't blast through, then she's going to come down. But it held that 21 there really nice, and now she ripped right back up here. So next week is going to be very, very interesting here, I think, for crude and for natural gas. We've got to see what's going to happen uh, uh, over the weekend. Now, I'll be back here Sunday night as usual. I have a video for you all on crude and natural gas probably by 7 o'clock. Um, at night there um, and get you all set up there for uh, a Monday. Hope everybody has a great weekend. Thanks for watching.